Hi everyone, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. I am planning for the week of December 18th through the 24th. I am using this kit from Glam Planner. I'm not sure of the exact name right now as I'm currently filming it, but I will have the correct name of the kit as the title of this video, so you can definitely check that out. But this is a really pretty kind of like light pastel pink sort of kit that I really wanted to kind of incorporate this year since a lot of my kits have been more kind of like pack a, pack a punch Christmas colors. Uh, so this is the kit. I did purchase some of the extras, but this is back when I thought that these extras didn't come in the kits, and they do. And I think she's changing her formats back, so I need to kind of pay attention to that for the future. But uh, so far, I do have these heart checklists and the date covers that I'm not going to be using just because I do have them already in the kit. So I'll just go ahead and add those to the giveaway pile already. But I do have the glitter headers. Here are your full boxes, which I love these so much. I love this double box. I'm like ready to use it. It's so pretty. You have heart checklists. Uh, you have your half boxes, heart checklists, quarter boxes, payday, bill due, flight tracker. Then you have your date covers, date dots, icons, and then two weekly trackers. And then you have this super functional deco sheet here. I did write on the movie marquee to kind of test what kind of pens I want to use. I'm still kind of on the fence, so I brought both colors, but I did test them. But then you have all your deco and flags and everything like that headers and little things and then you have your bottom washi and washi strips so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this week uh, like I said in my last Monday plan with me there is another like yellow smudge right here so I will definitely put a box there to kind of cover that but I do think I'm gonna go backwards with my boxes again because for some reason last week that turned out really good to just go backwards with the boxes so I think I'm gonna do that but I really love this kit. I actually was up in the air between this kit and another Glam Planner kit, but I decided to hold off on that one because it's just like one of my favorite kits of like all time, and I just don't want to use it because I don't want to be able to not get it ever again. So I was like, I'll use this one because like it's like my second favorite of the two, but I still like it. So there's the bottom washi. Hopefully you guys can see because these colors are so light this week, but it should be it should be okay. I have the brightness turned down like as far down as I can possibly go without like you not being able to see so hopefully that works I'm also gonna go ahead and grab the two little flags just so I can put those up top before I forget it's crazy to me that this is the second to last week in my planner in this planner because like I don't know if I'm ready to switch yet like I'm kind of sad I mean like I do really like the way the new planners look but I think you get so used to something and then when you have to change it it just makes me a little sad but it's okay so there's that I'm gonna have to cut that off when um I do the cutting off of the deco which I do think I'm gonna do deco this week just because there there is quite a bit of it and it's really pretty I mean it is kind of large but I don't know I do like it a lot okay so let's go ahead and do these full boxes I definitely want to keep the double box together how did I do that last week I did it at the bottom, which I kind of like. So let's do that. So I'm going to do the double box at the bottom of the weekend. Really cute. Oh, geez. Okay. This week, um, what I'm putting in doesn't look very eventful, but it is going to be a pretty busy week. Um, what box am I going to save? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Should I save the girl? Or should I save the like reindeer or the nutcracker? Hold on. Gray, 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 pink, pink, pink. It doesn't matter. Um, let's save. I didn't even think about this. I kind of like the nutcracker, but I also kind of like the girl. I think I'll save the girl. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, this week it's like eventful, but not super eventful. Um, mostly just like families coming into town for the weekend and then we're doing like we're, we're working all week like we're working I think we're gonna try and work two or three nine hour days um so it's just gonna be like a hectic as far as that goes but otherwise it's not gonna be awful so I'm kind of excited and then next week is gonna be so boring as far as like the pre-planning just because like there's stuff happening but it's like not not a lot did I do this again last week too yeah okay so I'm gonna put this one up here for some reason I like going backwards with my full boxes I feel like it kind of 
it's not that it's easier, but it kind of is easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the glitter headers. I'm going to use all four. What order do I want to go in? Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Okay, but yeah, so a fun eventful week. I've been wanting to use sort of a pastel kit in my Christmas spreads for a while. I guess you could say that the Crest Press kit I used at the beginning of December could have been my like pastel kit. Let me show you. But it's just so bright and I was like I kind of want to use something muted because last year I used Wonderful by SPC on Christmas and it turned out so pretty. So I kind of wanted to do something similar to that this year, but not on Christmas because I already have my Christmas kit planned, which is next week. I am doing a Christmas kit next week. Um, I know New Year's Eve and Christmas fall on the same week, which is so annoying, but it's okay because I think the first week of January, I'm going to do what I did this year and do a New Year's Eve kit then. So those are my plans for kits. All of January I'm doing like wintery kits and then February is going to be like a rebirth day and Valentine's Day of course because Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays, that and Christmas and Halloween. I think Valentine's Day, Christmas and Halloween are my three favorite holidays. And then, um, I don't know, I haven't even thought about March yet. <laughs> I'm like not, not even thinking about March. I've just been thinking about January and February for the most part. But yeah. Um... Pretty excited for the new year. Pretty excited for Christmas. But like I said, we have family coming into town. I'm a little sad though because it is supposed to rain all weekend and we kind of wanted to go do like some outdoorsy things with our family. But that probably won't happen because it's supposed to rain and that sucks. We also like, I feel like every time I've had plans to go do something this month, something's happened. Like the first time I had a hangover so I couldn't go because I was dying. And then this past weekend we were going to go do like a winter, like winter wonderland Christmas sort of thing. And it rained, like it rained really heavy. So we couldn't do that because it was outside. And then it's supposed to rain this weekend when we were going to go try and do an outdoorsy thing again. So that really sucks. So I'm hoping the weather kind of clears up. I remember the first year we moved to Austin, our first Christmas with Avery was the first year we were in Austin for Christmas. And it was 80 degrees outside. And then last year, I don't remember what it was for Christmas. I feel like it maybe was like 60s, which is probably what it's going to be this year too, just like rainy. So not as fun. I also have my planner kind of flipped um, because it, it makes it even on both sides and it's a lot easier to like work with. Especially because this is, you know, the second to last week in the planner. <laughs> Sorry I'm taking so long to put these down. I just want to make sure they're perfect. Also, I feel like my nails have grown out really fast this week. Whatever, I'm getting them done Saturday after two weeks of having them done. So, oh, did I skip a color? I did, didn't I? That's okay. So, okay, let's go back to that other color we we're supposed to do. And put that right here. I have been doing Vlogmas. I don't know if any of you that watch my planner videos have been watching any other videos that I've been doing for Vlogmas. But if you have, let me know if you've been enjoying them. I can never tell if people like them or not. So please let me know. After Vlogmas, I'm probably going to take a little bit, not like a break. I'll definitely still be filming videos, but it won't be like every single day. Just so I can like relax because I've been super stressed. It was probably not a great decision to do Vlogmas when like my finals are literally this week. But it's okay because I can just breathe and I just have a lot on my plate and I'll get it done with and I'll be fine. I'm actually almost caught up on filming all of the videos for Vlogmas. I just have to edit them and upload them. So as soon as I'm done filming, I don't think I will be as stressed. Okay. So here are all of the glitter headers. Almost. Let me fix this one. Okay, there's all the glitter headers. So done. Cute. This looks really good so far. I'm actually really liking this. Okay, so there's that. Um, next, I have to do... What am I doing? I, have, I feel like I haven't planned in a million years. Um, so yeah, this is my last week of classes before I have a week off. My classes are 10 weeks on, one week off. So I have next week off, which is nice, and then I'll start back again in January. So I'm going to use some of these heart checklists. Um, not too much is happening as far as schoolwork, mostly just exams So and papers, so it's not too crazy. So Monday, my heart checklist just needs to be two, and no classes this week, which is nice. So I don't have to stress. 
the line I just cut was not straight. There we go. I was like trying to fix that. Okay, so let me put this gray one down on Monday. And then I am not putting one down on Tuesday as per usual. Wednesday I will be putting down two as well. as well on Wednesday okay and then the last one I need is for Thursday which is four perfect so that's all I need and then I don't need her checklist next week because I won't be in school next week I'm very excited so my Christmas spread will hopefully turn out really really good so let's all pray for me please okay so there are the heart checklists I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and let's go ahead and do day by day. I'm working Monday through Friday this week, a normal work schedule, which is nice. I pulled out all three sets of my Caress Press work labels. I have the first batch of the normal like summer multicolor. I have fall and I have winter because I'm pretty sure one of each color is in one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with Monday. What color goes first on my line? Hold on, I had it listed here. Oh, the light pink. Okay, so that was in... I have a hair. The light pink was in here, maybe? No. Where was my light pink? Was it this one? No. Was it this one? Yes. Okay, so this... I'm sorry. This is going to be annoying. They were in my winter colors. I wish they were all in the same one, but whatever. So my light pink is in the winter colors. It is this one right here, in case you're using this kit with these headers. I'm going to go ahead and put this down on Monday. Okay. And then also on Monday, I have to, I have a bill due. Um, there is a bill due in this kit. Let me make sure it's the correct color. But I also pulled out, oh, it's gray. Good. I also pulled out bill dues from a multicolor just in case because I do have another bill due. But this one's gray, so it's fine. So I'll put this in on Monday. And then I also have to pay daycare. So I have my famous Planner Gems uh, crayons to pay daycare. Ooh, this like light peach color is cool. Do I like that one? Kind of. Let's use that one. So I'm going to put that one up here, just leaving a little bit of white space for that. And then um, I have to film times one. I'm thinking I'll put the quarter boxes down here. <gasps> How many do I need? Oh, cool. Okay, two or three. And there's three quarter boxes. Perfect. Um, and then it is also Ryan's birthday. So for Ryan's birthday, I think I'll do a... Ooh, I was going to do a quarter box for that, but that's not going to work. Let's do an appointment label for Ryan's birthday. Because I have two birthdays this week. So we'll do an appointment label. I'll use the blue one. And I'll put it right here. And then for birthdays this week, I'm kind of doing the same thing I did last week. I have once more with love stickers. I just grabbed two different freebie samplers because there's two different birthday ones on here. One is holding a cake, one is holding a present. So for Ryan's birthday, I'm going to use the one holding a present and just put the little munchkin right there for Ryan's birthday. And then I also, like I said, I have to film. I have to film one video tomorrow Ooh, or today, I guess, when you're watching this. So I'm going to grab a quarter box. I'm going to grab this like reddish, reddish one. Put it down here. Like that. And then let's look at our icon choices. So I could do a heart. I could do a star. An exclamation point is pretty perfect. I definitely want to use one that matches this color. But I think the laptop is probably the only option I have for that. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because I like matching colors. I think it looks good. So that's for filming that day. And then I have all this space open for anything else that happens on Monday. So that's perfect. Tuesday I am also working. So it goes what? Red. Where's the headers? Red, gray. My gray is in here. Was that right? Oh, it's in my fall. Is that right? It's not like really gray, is it? Or should I pick a different gray? I think I did pick it from my fall multicolor. Okay, sorry. So let's grab it from the fall multicolor. It's like a taupey, but whatever, I guess. Grab 
grab that one. I'll put it in right here. It's a little bit more like greeny. Like it looks more like olive -y over than gray, but it's fine. I think we'll only need one gray anyway, or might need two, but it's fine. Um, and then on Tuesday, Teen Mom is supposedly on on Tuesday because I guess Monday they're doing like a special that like I don't really care about. But I'll go ahead and just put in a TV little thing on Tuesday to mark it. So I'll just do that. And then the only other thing on Tuesday is that Unit 10 starts. So I just need a flag for that. I feel like I go through this all the time. I don't think she has any flags in her kits. <laughs> yeah, she has the big like um, deco-y one. So I'll just use that one. Or not deco-y, it's for the new Erin Condren's. But I'll go ahead and put this up here for Unit 10. And then for the like school related sticker, I pulled out some SPC old school scribblers. This was Jennifer, I think her name was, but she's like sitting at a desk and it's gray and I thought the gray would be good and she's got glasses and she kind of looks like me. So I'll put her right here for unit 10. That's kind of cute. And that's it for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I also have to work after gray. It was light blue. So I have a light blue right here on the um, winter multicolor. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. That header is popping up and it's bothering me. And then uh, the only other thing on Wednesday then is that it's my dad's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another appointment label. I'm going to use a pink one. And I'll put it right here. And then I'll grab another one of those um, munchkins. From, I can't believe I use like almost all of this freebie up. I love using all the freebies. Okay, this one has a birthday cake, so I'll put this one right here. That's so cute. I love those. I kind of like having like multiple birthdays on one week. I think it looks cute. And then the only other thing Wednesday is my exam. So that is it for Monday through Wednesday. Flipping you guys over to Thursday through Sunday. On Thursday, again, I am also working, so I need a like peachy kind of darker pink. And that is where these come in. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that peachy kind of color. Oh, I can't even grab it from the regular multicolor. I feel crazy having like four different multicolors here, but it's fine. It's like a little bit, a little bit redder, but it's okay. It's the closest I could find. Okay. And then on Thursday, I also have two bills that are due, but I'm just going to put it on one bill due. Uh, for this, I just grabbed my SPC, fall, uh, yes, fall multicolor buildus. So let me grab those. And I will use, there's a gray. I'll probably use the gray just because it like, I don't know. It'll blend a lot better. So I'll put that one in for my two bills that are due that day. And then I need to film. That's the only other thing. So perfect. Not a lot going on. Good. Uh, so I need to film how many videos? One. One video. Okay, so let's do blue for this day. And I'll put it right here. With the, let's find a blue icon, the star. Oh no, the film clapper. Let's do the film clapper. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the paw print. Okay, let's use the film clapper for Thursday. And that is that for Thursday. Okay, moving on to Friday, the last one I need is a light pink, was that right? Yes, the light pink. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that then. And that's all I need then for my work labels, so I can put all these crazy labels away. I <laughs> have like labels everywhere. Okay, put this one here. Nope. Come on, there we go. Perfect, and that's the work for Friday, and then um, on Friday, it is also payday. Did I not pull out a payday sticker? Oh, I don't think I did. Why didn't I pull out a payday sticker? Oh, because the ones didn't really match. So I was gonna use an icon of some sort, or even the payday flag, because there is a payday flag. But it's huge, I don't want a huge payday flag. Um, let's use the money icon for payday. We'll put that up top, because that is pretty important. And then also on Friday, Avery has a half day at her school. Which is why we're working like longer hours to make up for when we leave early this day. Do I want to put that in though? That's the real question. I kind of do. 
Um, I didn't pull anything out for that. Oh, I do have on the little freebie, though. There's a cute little girl, which kind of reminds me of Avery. Um, so I could put that in to mark that she has a half day. Put that right there. And then also this day, my father and brother-in-law are coming to visit us. They're going to stay for like a week and a half, which is crazy, but it's going to be fun. I'll put that up here as well. Um, oh, I did bring out something for that. I asked Brian, I was like, what would be the perfect sticker for them, but also like Christmas related? And this was last year's sampler, or maybe it's this year's, I'm not sure. But this one of the two little carolers I thought was hilarious. So I want to use that sticker for sure for them coming. Um, and I have all this space, which is perfect. So I'm just going to put that, oh, I feel like that's kind of big. Maybe I will do like a half box or like an appointment label. Yeah, let's do a half box. Let's do a patterned one too. Nice. So we'll put this one here at the bottom, which is fine because then I have all this room for more things. And I'll put it, oh no, maybe I'll make it like the biggest thing. Oh no. Should I put it in the middle? Yeah, that's fine. This will be like the biggest thing, I guess, of the evening because they are coming at night. And then I'll put the little carolers right there, which I think is hilarious. And then I have some room here for something else that may happen on Friday. Um, Saturday and Sunday, let's get our weekend banner down. Go ahead and grab this. I'm not working this weekend, which is awesome. I have a four-day weekend, which I'm so happy about. Let's fix this a little bit, a little bit. Okay, there's the weekend banner. I like it when it goes up into the glitter header, so that's why I did it like that. The only thing I have so far on Saturday is that I do have a nail appointment in the morning, so I want to put that in first. Um, I do want to put it on a label, too, just in case I have to move it. So I will use a gray label. in case it gets moved but I do have an appointment so hopefully we can still go and then I pulled out the SPC these are the hollow nails this was from the August mystery kit I want to say and I'm just gonna grab the oh there's we go there we go a little gray glittery nail so I'm gonna put that in for my nail appointment that morning and that's the only thing I know of that's happening Saturday so I have all this open space for anything else which is perfect on Sunday there is a keeping up with the Kardashians episode on there's only two TV shows this week boo I mean, I understand, but also boo. I can't believe I'm saying that, considering like three weeks ago I had like 10 TV, like 14 TV shows on and I was like struggling to find TV little things. But let's go ahead and get this TV little thing in for keeping up with the Kardashians. Um, okay, hopefully that's like straight. It doesn't look straight to me, which is gonna bother me, but let's make sure it's straight. Okay, there we go. And then I need to film and it's Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna grab the last quarter box put that down here nope it needs to go a little bit below I want to make it make sure it's aligned with that quarter box and then I do need an icon for that I can definitely use the heart oh no let's use the camera because it's the same color perfect perfect and then like I said it's Christmas Eve so I kind of want to put something down here that like symbolizes that it's Christmas Eve I brought out these uh, Coffee Monsters Co. Christmas emojis. I thought that the emoji with the little like Christmas PJs is perfect. Ooh, this week I'm gonna have to like wrap presents and stuff, so that'll definitely be added in eventually. So I don't know if I wanna use this by itself or if I wanna use this with a half box. I'm kind of thinking a half box would be really cute. So let's do that at the bottom here and then I should have a lot of, oh, not a lot, but a little bit of room in case we do anything throughout the day, which is nice. And I'll put that a little emoji there. Very cute. Okay, that's, that's it for the week. That looks really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Well, let me fix that because that's a little, a little too, too uneven for me. There we go. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's do the sidebar now. <laughs> now that I've already, like, fixed everything. Okay, so I'm going to grab that last full box. Okay, I, like, love this week. I was a little bit unsure, but now I'm, like, really happy with it. Put down this full box. I do need some daily habits for tidying up and bullet journaling, which I need to be better at 
uh, preparing my bullet where it cut off but I'm gonna use the snowflakes as my um, pattern washi this week I'm gonna use the teeniest littlest one in between the daily habits okay and then I'm going to put another piece of the washi Definitely still doing my YouTube upload schedule, so I'm going to use a gray, and yeah, I'm just going to put it in because I put the glitter header on top of that uh, bar there. So I'm going to grab that gray glitter header and put it just on top of where you're supposed to write because I don't like to write <laughs> too much. And then I'm going to grab a like darker pink glitter header. Do I put a piece of washi in between? Yeah, let's do it. Putting a piece of washi in between. Whoops. Okay. And then this glitter header. And a regular ombre heart checklist. this again okay here we go and then I need one more piece of that washi and I should be good and I'll just cut off the excess of that washi that looks good all the way down I like it that looks really really consistent I'm very proud okay so now we can open our back up I'm not even gonna worry about like making sure it's okay I think this looks really cute I'm like adjusting my knee so sorry if you can see my leg there but I'm gonna go ahead and do some deco um the deco is larger but like I don't really care um, I'm gonna move all of these out of the way also if you do want to see completed spreads I do show them on my Instagram which is just Kirsten plans I'll link it down below check it out because I really post like all of my completed spreads and they look they look really cute when they're done December has been good to me so here is the deco. What I like to do is I do the bigger things first and then I go in with like the little dots and stuff. So I'm gonna start with the fireplace. Let majority of these things hang over the edge because otherwise it's just not gonna work. I am gonna go ahead and snip this girl's legs though because those are just gonna be what takes up way too much space. So I just snipped off her legs. I wanna be able to see her face though. Ooh, okay, hold on. I gotta think about this. No, I wanna see her face. She's so cute. Okay, what if I just snip off part of her dress then? Let's just snip off part of your dress. The entire beautiful part, but whatever. Because I wanna be able to see this girl's face. She's cute. There we go. There's that. And then let's do the chair. In the bag of presents I'll do over here the ice skates pretty big but it's okay we'll do it right here oh the little presents cute and then the bulbs the ornaments the bulbs the bulbs you know just the bulbs we'll do these back to back because those are cute um, I don't think this nutcracker or this tree is really going to fit, but we can try. So again, I might do the same thing with him and just cut off his legs because, like, who needs them? Whoa, sorry. That was a little bit inappropriate, but you know what I mean for the nutcracker. Um, what if I... I don't want to do them upside down. Jeez Louise. I don't want to... All right, I'm about to just, like, completely cut off his head now and just use his head. Let's see what that looks like. Does that look stupid? No, it's okay. It's okay, because it, it, eh, it's okay. Um, the tree and the bird, though, are just a little, I don't know, maybe I can fit the bird in over here, but the tree is definitely going to be a no-go, because, like, it's huge. There's just absolutely no way. So I'm just going to put some of these larger, but yet kind of smaller little stars in everywhere. 
I'm gonna do two right there because there is nothing there. And I'll do one right here. And then there's some dots that can be placed in as well. Let's do one right here. Only four of them, so that's kind of cool. I can do two on each side. I'll do one more right here. And then I need one more. We'll just do it there. Okay, so there's the big tree. I kind of still want to use it, so I'm going to grab it because I'm crazy. And I think I'm going to put it right here. I kind of like that. I think that's pretty. So, there's the spread. So what I'm going to do is turn off the camera and cut off all of this like excess stuff and fill everything out. I don't know what color to use. The pink and the light blue that I think would be perfect, I don't have in every single pen that I like to use because I do like to use different types of pens. So here's my thought process. I have a gray, which I like, but I don't have a gray in the Papermint Ink Joy, which would be on the Crest Press, so that's fine. But then I don't have a gray in the gel, which is what, or the Pilot G2, which is what I use to write on here. This is black. So I'm thinking maybe, okay. I might do all three different colors. So black is going to go on my work labels. Gray is going to go on anything that needs to be written on, that's sticker paper. And then navy blue on the actual paper. Is that stupid or should I use black? I think I might ask on Instagram really quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and ask then really fast. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys when I finish this. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully it turns out good. Okay, guys, so I finished doing everything, <laughs> filling everything out. I cut off all the deco up here. I think it actually looks really, really great. Um, the pen that I did decide to go with was navy. I did do a poll on Kirsten Plant's Instagram, and last time I checked it, black was winning by maybe like 10 votes, but I was like, I don't know. So I did like a little test. I did one line of black and one line of navy in my H, and I liked the way navy looked because I felt like black was a little too harsh, um, and I feel like it kind of goes a lot better together, and I love the gray. I wish I had a gray pen. I need to find one. But that is it for this week's Monday plan with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, like I said, follow Kirsten Plans on Instagram to see the up-close spreads when they're done. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Unless you're not into planner videos, then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, bye guys.